Hello, everyone. Grace and peace to you. He is risen. And that's usually when you would say, he is risen indeed. So, welcome to this Easter video. I want to tell you another story. Our story today takes place early in the morning. So early that the sun hasn't come up yet, and it's still dark. Mary Magdalene was having trouble sleeping because Jesus, who was her friend and teacher, was killed a few days ago. So she went to visit his grave while it was still dark. I imagine it may have taken her a while to get there in the dark, but when she arrived at the tomb, she saw that the stone closing it was rolled off. When she saw that the tomb was open, she ran to Simon Peter and another disciple who Jesus loved and told them they took Jesus out of the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Then Peter and the other disciple ran to the tomb. And when the first one got there, he bent down to look in and saw the cloth that Jesus was buried in. But he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter caught up and went into the tomb. He saw the cloth lying there, and the cloth that was around Jesus' head was rolled up and carefully placed. Then the other disciple came into the tomb and when he saw all of this, he remembered that Jesus had talked about how he would rise from the dead, and he believed. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood outside the tomb, crying. While she was crying, she bent over to look into the tomb. And when she did, she saw two angels sitting where the body of Jesus was missing from. They said to her, Woman, why are you crying? And she told them, They have taken away Jesus, and I do not know where they put him. When she said that, she turned around and saw Jesus behind her, but she didn't know that it was Jesus. She didn't recognize him. And Jesus said to her, why are you crying? And she thought maybe he was a gardener who had moved Jesus. So she said, Sir, if you carried him away, please tell me where you put him, and I will take him away. But Jesus called her by her name, Mary. And she turned to him and recognized him and said, Rabuni, which is a Hebrew word that means teacher. And Jesus told her to go to his brothers, his disciples, and tell them that Jesus was alive and that he was going to go be with God. So Mary Magdalene went and told the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them everything that Jesus had said. I wonder what it was like. For Mary to be the first person to say, He is risen. I have seen the Lord. I wonder why Mary didn't recognize Jesus. I wonder if sometimes we don't recognize when God is right there with us. This story is about starting to tell the story to other people. Mary tells other people. I wonder what your favorite part of this story is. And how would you tell it? Would you pray with me? Take a moment and get in a comfortable prayer position. You can sit there with your hands, palm up on your lap. Let's pray. God who loves us and calls us by name. 
thank you for your love and for your story. God, help us to recognize you when you are with us. Help us to see you around us when you're behind us or beside us or when you go in front of us. God, thank you for telling us that your love for us is so powerful that not even death can separate us from you. God, we ask that you would teach us to love you more, to love each other more, and to love ourselves more the way you see us as your beloved children. And everyone said together, Amen.